Hello folks, Jack here from Peach Guitars and today we're continuing our series where we're kind of doing a bit of deep diving on some of the significant models from Paul Reed Smith guitars. So today we're looking at one of the most versatile guitars of all, which is their Hollow Body 2. So a little bit of background first on this model for anyone who doesn't know, the Hollow Body 2 has been in their range for quite a while and when it first came out it was a bit of a departure from the guitars that they've been making up to that point, namely because obviously it's a Hollow Body guitar but the wood combination used was a little bit out of the ordinary for their kind of differing from their standard models at the time. So we've got the rather standard mahogany center block on this guitar, but the big difference is it's got a carved maple top and back on this guitar. So for starters, you know, just aesthetically speaking, this is one of the most beautiful guitars that they make, given that you've got that gorgeous figured maple on both sides of the guitar. The rest of it's pretty much uh, par for the course. You've got the same mahogany neck, rosewood fingerboard, and the Gen 3 locking tuners on this guitar, but just aesthetically alone, this guitar is absolutely in leagues above some of their other offerings, in my opinion, it's just so beautiful. And that adds quite a lot to the tone as well, it's a really open sounding guitar, it really has a lot of kind of sparkly high-end content, and even when you're just using the electric side of this guitar, it really sings like very few other guitars do. So I'm going to come on to this guitar's party piece in just a moment, but I just want to talk first of all about the electric side of this guitar and talk you through the pickups that are in here. So we've got their 5815LT pickups in this guitar, which are exactly the same model that you'll find in their Makati 594. And these pickups have really proven themselves to be fantastic sounding, kind of quite low output, vintage kind of vibe uh, humbucking pickups. Really clean and crisp and clear and it marries up with this maple uh, uh, back and top really, really well. You really get some nice, beautiful open tones. Okay, so coming on to the Hollow Body 2's party piece, which is in fact a third pickup that you can't see on this guitar. There's a piezo pickup which was co-designed with LR Bags, who are real pioneers in the world of acoustic pickups. Um, they, they combine their, their knowledge with PRS's knowledge and basically create the pickup just for this Hollow Body 2 model, so that you have the option to get both electric and acoustic tones from this one guitar. And the way that you control this is via the two different output jacks on this guitar. So this output jack here is currently routed through our electric rig, but you do have the option to mix both the uh, magnetic pickups and the piezo pickup just through this one output and control the two with the controls on top of the guitar. But the fact is you can split the piezo pickup from its own output. So that's what we're doing here today. So just to very briefly explain, I've got the electric side running through a Mesa Boogie Triple Crown 50 amplifier as we normally do here in the videos and the other side is plugged straight into a Fishman DI box and that's into our recording interface. So when you hear the two different, um, the two different outputs of this guitar, they're routed entirely separately and you have the flexibility to control how you want to do that, whether it's for recording or for a live environment too. Okay, so let me just talk you through the controls on the guitar and how you kind of manipulate the different tones you're able to get. You've got your standard uh, volume and tone here for the electric side. So this volume here controls the two magnetic pickups and you have a tone control that affects those two in ordinary electric guitar fashion. You've got a three-way toggle here to give you the three different kind of typical two humbucker uh, configurations that you get from most electric guitars. And then where things start to get a little bit different is with this three position toggle, mini toggle here. So this basically controls where the signal starts to be rooted. So all the way down here in position one, you just have your electric uh, configuration just using the magnetic pickups. In the middle position, it activates the piezo pickup and you have a separate volume control here for just that pickup. Now, as I said before, if you're just using the one output uh, through an electric rig, the piezo pickup will be active through your electric rig. So you can really get some cool blended tones. Uh, say if you're playing with a bit of distortion on your amp, you can just blend in that piezo pickup just a bit to get some added clarity to your tone. And then lastly, all the way up on this switch, it activates just the piezo pickup by itself. So if you're using the two outputs simultaneously, like I'm doing here today, when you're in either one extreme, it basically mutes the other pickup. 
So all the switching you're gonna hear in this video where I'm swapping between electric and acoustic tones are just done with this one switch. Okay, so let me just give you some more sound examples now. Now what I'm gonna do is not touch any of the volume controls, I'm just gonna play through the three different options that this mini toggle will give you. So namely that's gonna be just electric, then you're gonna hear a blend of the electric with the acoustic pickup, and then I'm just gonna play the piezo acoustic pickup by itself too. Okay, so let's just focus on the electric side only for a minute because even if you don't want to use the piezo pickup and kind of the acoustic sounding capabilities that this guitar has, the electric side of it sounds absolutely gorgeous and just being a fantastically crafted hollow body instrument from PRS, this is really a fantastic standalone electric guitar in its own right. So to demonstrate that further, I'm just going to go to the crunch channel of this Mesa Boogie Triple Crown 50 amplifier and just play with the electric side for a minute so you can hear some of the tones you can get just from the two magnetic pickups. Okay, so as I said, really, really gorgeous electric tones are capable from this instrument. But something that's really flexible about this guitar, if you have it hooked up as we have today with the acoustic output active as well, is basically you can set your amp up like this for a nice crunch tone, and then rather than relying on your amplifier to get a clean tone, all you have to do is switch to that other output. So let me just demonstrate that too. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so you've heard me there jumping from a distorted electric tone to a nice clean piezo acoustic tone and then finally I blended the two and just backing off the volume of the piezo pickup means that I could still have that heavy distorted tone on my amp but you get a bit more clarity coming from the piezo pickup which is great if you've got a really big thick electric tone and you just want to add a bit of sparkle and clarity that's a great way to do it. Okay, so just a quick word on the way this guitar plays. As always with PRS guitars, their necks are some of the most comfortable in the guitar business. This is a pattern regular profile on this guitar that anyone who's played a PRS guitar before will feel very comfortable with. But the way this is set up from the factory is obviously to cater to both electric and acoustic capabilities. So the string gauge on this guitar is actually a set of 11 gauge strings, but you do have a wound G string from default. So some people are either gonna like that or not, but just bear in mind, that to get the most flexibility of electric and acoustic tones, this is a great way to do it. So that when you're playing on that clean piezo pickup, your G-string doesn't sound particularly thin and ratty as it would do if it was maybe a plain string. So just bear that in mind when you wanna go about setting this guitar up for yourself. Okay guys, so I've really just scratched the surface of what this great versatile guitar can do. If you wanna experience one for yourself, the best thing you can do is obviously come down to the store and try one out for yourself. Uh, we've got quite an elaborate rig set up here today to kind of demonstrate a few of the features of this guitar, but in essence, you can either just plug and play this thing into an electric amp and get some great hollow body tones, or you can use it to really maximize the potential of your guitar rig, both for recording and live application. It's one of the only guitars on the market, particularly in this kind of high-end uh, category of real high-end craftsmanship on guitars that will allow you to do that with ease. So if you'd like to find out any more about these hollow body two guitars from PRS, or indeed any of PRS's other guitar offerings, you can do so by going to peachguitars.com and there you'll be able to see the full inventory of PRS guitars that we carry, as well as get current pricing information, see high resolution images of every guitar that we carry, as well as see individual videos that we've shot to show you the tonal capabilities of every single guitar too. Okay, so that's it as always guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please Please give us a like and comment down below with your thoughts and let us know if there's any other of PRS's guitars that you'd like to see focused in this kind of in-depth way. As always, please remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and remember to tap the bell icon that's next to it too so you'll be notified of all our video uploads in the future. So there we are guys, thanks so much for watching as always, stay tuned and I'll see you next time. Cheers.